You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by my boogie board for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out a boogie board today. And thanks to them for sending me this to check out on video for ages 4 plus. Because I get to scribble and play. And it's not just any ordinary boogie board. It is the Color Burst. So this one is in color. Now the other ones were not. So it'll be fun to check this one out. I'm just kind of giving it one of those product twists like it's on some kind of little spinner. So let's see. What does it say? Boogie board. Well, let me turn this up a little bit now. There's no glare possibilities here with this. It says, Boogie Boards, patented scribble and play. E-Rider eliminates the need for scrap paper, construction paper, or notebook paper and allows kids to rewrite and create in color. To rewrite? You know what I'm trying to say. Let's see. This is what it includes. And then it has an erase button, a comb effect edges. So it looks like you can do different effects with these little plastic pieces. Unique stylus tips to draw with. Oh, here for the app, it says scan, save, and share. So it's one of those apps like that. So when I come back then, I will have this out of the package, and then I will check it out with you, and we'll learn more about it. All right, here we go. Easy to take out of the package. Now let's take a look, and these are the drawing implements that we're going to use. It says boogie board with a little wave right there. And then up here is erase button. And then this is not the actual screen now. This is kind of a instruction sheet, I'm guessing. Let's turn it over. All right, so you've got the red and the blue. The red is the actual board. It's super thin. And then the blue is like a cover that protects it. Let's just see if we can get these off in an easy way. Okay, maybe just that. And then it looks like I could take them all out. And they can go in any order, really, if I want. So if I want to move this one here, I can. It doesn't make a difference. So it's really up to you how you want to utilize those tools. And then, so let me get them all out so they're ready. And they all have little patterns and shapes in your fingers so you can kind of feel it and grip onto it. Let's just see. So let's do that one. So this has got a squiggly line. This has got dots. And then reversed. And then this one has little parentheses and zeros or O's. And this one has these lines going across. Now the tips. Let's take a quick look at the different tips. I'm pretty sure, like the last one, you can use your finger, too. You don't have to use your fingernail if you want. Okay, so those are the four shapes. You got this big flat one, or this pointier one, another ridged one. See that? And then, like a felt tip marker that's got, like, a nice wider edge to it. And it looks like you could use these, too. This has got little dots on that edge. Dots. Look at that. More dots less dots, and then flat lines. So there's a lot going on there. All right, let's take a look at the board. Let's pull this out. Okay. And then as you see now where the instructions were hitting, it should just erase. And there it does. And it, it gets that little flicker. I remember that from the last one too. And then here is some instructions in case you're missing this. Looks like the battery is up in one of the compartment areas, but let's see if we want to take this off okay so you would just pull it out of its case and there's where the battery would go okay simple enough but you really wouldn't want to take it too much out of its case it's nice and thin but that gives it a little protection okay so now let's just try I think this is the best camera angle I'm not sure I will have to adjust let's just try this flatter tip going this way Okay, so it only goes so wide. Not the full width of that. You kind of have to angle and press to kind of get it to do that. And then here's a super one with the little notches on it. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Here's a big flat one. You probably got to get used to the angle and the pressure. And then here is a nice pointy one. So now you get lines with that. All right, so there's the four different ones. And then let's try now this. Okay, so it looks like the two outer ones are catching on that. Let's try this. Again, it's not not all of them are hitting. And then let's try this. 
Well, it could be, I don't know if it's just my angle of approach, I'm not sure, but now you see what's happening. And then the big flat ones. So same thing. And these are, I don't know if they're angled. It looks like they're angled slightly. Let's just do this. Let's just put this down here. Okay. Now we kind of see what's going on. Let's see if I can just do something here. And just draw like a little picture. Little waves. And then our sailboat. This is, this is pretty standard for me <laughs> there because it's easy to do. And then let's take this up here for the sun. And then some rays coming out. Get it? I guess that's the sun. I'm not sure. It almost looks like a little wispy something flying. And then let's just try this flat one again. It's, it must be like that, the right angle and the right way to hold it. So I'm not getting a super thick line. Oh, there it is. All right, let's, let's fix that picture. All right, let's do something else. Let's see what they scribbled on here. Maybe it might be easier for me to copy something. Looks like a rocket ship. So they have flames coming down. Mine does not look like flames. Theirs is much pointier. Let's see if I can get that. You can do it. You just have to press lighter if you want to get like the the points as points. Okay. So it's a possibility. So it will require some some variance in your touch and feel, just like a regular pen I guess and then they have this weird looking fin system and then my rocket ship going up I'm not much of a drawer but I think you get the idea I think of Wallace and Gromit when I think of a ship like that I just watched a documentary on that show that was really cool how that all started okay not bad and then they have ABC let me try Maybe it's just that. Maybe you don't get the line like that unless you just kind of give you a wider range when you press. Well, that's why I make these videos, so we can learn about how these things work. It's pretty neat. I did like this one. This one worked good. Now what did I say? Your finger, right? Your fingernail? Your finger? No. It's got to have a little sharpness to it. But of course it can't be something metallic or something that will ruin the screen. Your fingernail is probably, you know, like the plastic on that. So you can go... Pretty neat. All right, let me do this. Let me see if I could do this light bulb. That would be a challenge for me. Here we go. Not as good as theirs. And the filaments. There you go. Do, 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 do. There's my light bulb. I would say it works pretty good. I think you're going to have to learn, you know, the different pressure points. This, I thought when I press this down, it should do all five. One, two, three, four, five dots. At least that's what I'm thinking. You know, maybe it's just, maybe it's me. I don't know. Or it just lets you do that. Very cool. Well, guess what? I have a special bonus item to show you today. So I'm going to move this over. This works really good. They also have something called the clear view. And this is for tracing for younger kids. Look, it looks like you can put it over a tracing card and you trace and practice with it. Why am I showing it to you? Because I'm giving this one away. This one has been open now and I normally don't give away open stuff. But this one is going to be given away. So if you're interested in trying to get this item, 
send me a letter. I'll have the address in the description, more information there, and uh, also how to get it. So remember, if you need, if you're 1300, you do need a parental consent signed, dated, and if you're 14 and over, then you need to put your age, sign it, and date it, and we're trusting that you're gonna follow the rules, and then that'll enter you in a chance to win this one, or give it as a gift. There's plenty of time, so get those letters out. You get 20 tracing cards with this board, now, different than this one, this one's a color for drawing. This one is for learning and probably looks like you can draw and trace things with it. So it's like a clear tracer. Interesting. Well, it looks like, oh, yeah, you could test it. Pretty neat. Oh, see? That's what it does. So if you want to put it over something, oh, well, that's cool. Look at that. All right. So send in a letter for that. This one here, really cool. And thanks again to them for sending this to me and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Let me put my little things back on so we could see it all back in order. How easy it is to do. Now you could probably just take this anywhere, right? Take it in the car, keep it in your room, travel with it. And thanks for watching the Color Burst Boogie Board. And if you want to see more videos like this, look at the description of a playlist or as always you can Search Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.